friends, I am Dr. Bhavan Kumar, consultant cardiac surgeon and head of the department of CVTS at Nilavati Hospital, Mumbai. In continuation of our last videos where we discuss about stents versus bypass surgery in coronary artery blocks, uh, there are many reasons for these stents getting blocked off. First reason is that the uh, patients may be having risk factors like uh, diabetes or uh, the lifestyle diseases, high cholesterol level or uh, if there are any other uh, risk factors of non-compliance, the stents get blocked off. Number two, number of stents. If single stents are there or multiple stenting is being done in multiple vessels of coronary artery disease, the stents do get blocked off. The rate is, uh, international rate is 5% to 7% per stent per year. There are many reasons for them, them to get blocked off. Third is technical reason. Technical reason means that uh, if stents are put in the bifurcation of the vessels, uh, where two stents are rubbing each other and there is a junction where coronary arteries are involved with the stents put in adjacent to each other. And that's where the turbulence occurs. And that's where the ingrowth of tissue occurs and stents get blocked out. Then another reason is the length of the stent. If coronary arteries have been deployed with the long stents, the higher rate of restenosis is, is observed. Then coronary artery diameter. If coronary arteries are small and then stents are put in with the over inflation or over deployment of these stents, usually at the start of the coronary artery stent, and there is a shear phenomena which occurs and it causes tissue ingrowth at the start of the stent or at the end of the stent. That's how the stenosis occurs at the start of the stent or end of the stent. That's where the technical expertise is required so that uh, this stenosis doesn't occur. Then there are reasons that when these patients are put in on antiplatelets or blood thinners because these have to be taken lifelong after stent deployment. By any reason, these blood thinners or antiplatelets are discontinued by maybe because of any trauma or ignorance or any other requirement of surgery in the body where bleeding is expected. So these, stent, these blood thinners are stopped. Once the blood thinners are stopped, even for a short time, the stents may get blocked. So these kind of uh, things happening in future may also have adverse effect on the stent patency. Then over long term years, these stents also uh, tend to develop tissue in growth in these stents and uh, stents do get occluded. It is important to know that uh, stents are placed at what level, at uh, what place in coronary arteries. If stents are placed right from beginning, like from left main or early bifurcation of origin of circumflex artery or at the LAD level with the multiple stenting involving two more than two vessels, these uh, are uh, seen in future that these, uh, at these places, these stents also do get blocked off. So it is important for you to keep in mind that uh, those patients, those who require uh, coronary artery stenting, they must know these risk factors before uh, taking a decision about coronary artery stenting, multiple stenting or uh, any other uh, stenting in, uh, in the coronary arteries that uh, they may get this kind of restenosis or blockage of the stents. Uh, normally, doctors do consult and advise them according to their uh, uh, lifestyle, about, about their uh, uh, requirement of the stents. But at the same time, you should also be aware and the knowledge is key that whether multiple stenting is advisable in your coronary artery disease or you should opt for coronary artery bypass surgery. One more point is important to note that if your coronary arteries are 100% occluded, 100% blocked and you have been advised a coronary artery stenting, it is important to note that this 100% occluded vessel has developed some kind of fibrosis and some kind of closure in the area and usually cardiologists take long time to find a channel in which a balloon is inserted and then stent is deployed. But that area it was totally closed. So in that area, the repeat occlusion is well known and it has higher incidence of closure. So 100% occluded vessel is usually not safe for angioplasty. 
and one more category of patients is that those who have acute heart attack and where the cause of the heart attack is clot formation in coronary arteries in those situations that area is very inflamed and edematous where after clot suction if stent is deployed that area is very prone for another thrombosis or another clot formation there so in acute situation if stent is deployed by any chance to keep the vessel patent uh, that stent also gets blocked off so the clinical situation coronary artery uh, situation whether it is a bifurcation uh, stenosis origin of the coronary artery stenosis or it is 100% occluded stenosis and your risk factors and further life where you require surgery these are the certain very important points in your uh, decision making for to undergo coronary artery stenting so do take a considered decision and after taking consideration of all these factors before you opt for coronary artery blocks stenting thank you very much